Hi, I'm Lynn Hedrick. I'm this year's chair for the Urban Page Award Committee, and I'm here with one of this year's finalists, Thomas Vallum from UCLA. And I'm going to ask um, Thomas to tell us a little bit about his research and what he's presenting today and the significance of his work. So, Thomas, congratulations for being Thank a finalist much. for this I'm year's award. I'm very honored to be here. And uh, I wanted to, you to tell the audience about your work and kind of the significance of it, but we'll just start with what did you find and, and what's your topic? Sure, so, so my lab is very interested in cholesterol metabolism and various aspects of cholesterol metabolism. Um, we've been specifically interested in uh, how cholesterol is catabolized, so cholesterol is catabolized to these metabolites, metabolites uh, known as bile acids. And bile acids have a number of very interesting and important metabolic responses, which is what, what we're basically studying. Um, and what we've found is um, we've uncovered a, a mechanism, a molecular mechanism for how bile acid homeostasis is maintained through a very elegant negative feedback loop. So we're, we're very excited to be able to share that today. So do you want to tell us a little specifics about the feedback loop and, and the receptors involved? And sure. So uh, bile acids are the ligands for one of the nuclear receptors, and nuclear receptors are ligand-activated transcription factors. So bile acids activate this nuclear receptor called FXR, which in turn turns off bile acid synthesis. So when bile acid levels are high, they activate the receptor, which then feeds back and turns off synthesis. And that's how uh, homeostasis is maintained. So we've identified uh, a player that's downstream of FXR, so it's a transcriptional repressor, so FXR induces this transcriptional repressor called MAFG, and MAFG then binds to response elements in these various genes and reduces the expression or the transcription of the, the major bile acid synthetic enzymes mm -hmm. and alters the bile acid pool. It's by no means the only mechanism, but it's certainly a novel mechanism. How did you find MAFG? So we used uh, a number of um, high-throughput approaches to, to get to transcriptional repressors. Um, there's lots of uh, very cool bioinformatic tools that we can use. Um, so by, by keeping our focus on FXR and what FXR was doing, we were able to find a number of FXR-regulated transcription or oppressors, and MAFG was one of those. Have you used knockout mice, or are there knockout mice? Or? Right, so this is a very <laughs> interesting story, which uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to present too. So we, we have been able to use the knockout mice. Um, we identified them, they were in Japan originally, and we contacted the investigators in Japan about a, a month before they were struck by this series of earthquakes and tsunamis. So we, you know, this, this was sort of really tragic. Fortunately, our collaborator survived and the mice survived too, which we were really sort of uh, taken back by, but it, it obviously delayed us, us getting the mice. We then back crossed these mice to a black six background, which is where we've done most of our studies. Yeah. And we found that the, the loss of MAFG was actually lethal. So um, really? it was, you know, it was a three year pro, uh, program or, you know, idea yeah. to get the mice and then it didn't, uh, didn't materialize, but we were fortunate that the MAFG heterozygous mice actually had a, had a phenotype, oh. so we, we did our studies in the heterozygous and we used uh, antisense oligonucleotides from ISIS as a collaboration. That's nice, yeah, so that's great. We, yeah, we were very excited. Uh, it was a, it's a part that no, doesn't normally make it to the, to the publication, but it's, it's certainly something right. that's stuck with us. Um, right. It made it a, an interesting story. It's exciting. So tell us about uh, the significance of your work in terms of the future. So. Um, how is this, how are your findings down the road going to help improve cardiovascular disease? So I think that the, the, the way that I'm really trying to gear my research is we're interested in understanding molecular mechanism for disease relevant pathways. And transcription factors are obviously, they regulate broad uh, pathways. And uh, we've certainly through some of the, the more global approaches that we've used to identify what MAFG is doing, We've identified a number of additional important metabolic pathways that are regulated by MAFG, such as uh, liver lipid metabolism and glucose homeostasis. And bile acids are obviously very important in, in mm -hmm. atherosclerosis because that's the, one of the models for atherosclerosis is you actually add bile acids in a diet and you can induce it in mice. So right, right. Um, we, we found, and, and MAFG is, is modulating the bile acid pool composition and how that really relates to atherosclerosis isn't, isn't known. So really we have a, a number of very interesting and exciting uh, opportunities ahead which we're we're hopefully you're going to be able to have funding and, and continue to investigate. Right, right. It's very exciting. Well, yeah. we're, we're really thrilled. Uh, yeah, so hopefully as, a, as an early career person, this is something that's, uh, you know, that leads us to, to hopefully a lot of opportunities and right. future success. Right. I hope so too. I'm sure it will. Yeah, so, fingers crossed. So congratulations on being a finalist, and we look forward to hearing the details of your work this afternoon. Thank you very so. much. Uh, yeah, I look forward to, to the presentation too. Thank you, and good luck today. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.